In regard to the LRA by ELISA Act, would the toxic metal mineral block, which is at 14 items current, be useful to orthopedic surgeons in determining metal sensitivity for surgical implant materials? And if so, could it help the doctor to choose proper or different implant materials? And is this a panel that can be run alone for these practitioners? So the question is whether the LRA by ELISA Act test is able to test for more minerals, potentially toxic minerals, but more minerals, mineral hypersensitivity, allosteric effects at the molecular level than any other laboratory. True. And we can test for 14 of them. Now, if you're talking about orthopedic surgeons, yes, hypersensitivity is known. Talk to any sophisticated orthopedic surgeon and they will know that nickel hypersensitivity occurs because on the metal implants, the trace minerals end up on the surface. So deep inside, you might have only one mineral but on the surface, you actually would have leachable, that is desorbable, that is minerals that can come off the implant and be recognized by the body as foreign. In fact, a guy named Maybach at UCSF made an entire career on nickel hypersensitivity and the fact that when you used certain metal implants that had nickel on their surface, you ended up with an autoimmune condition and you actually had to remove the implant. So in a better world, yes, orthopedic surgeons would be testing for metal hypersensitivity and select the implants based on what the surface of that implant has. Although I must say that over the many years, while I have a number of friends who are orthopedic surgeons, testing for hypersensitivity before the procedure is very rarely done. And when people who are disposed to inflammatory repair deficit and or self-attacking autoimmune conditions, people say with diabetes who have some kind of an orthopedic implant, they are at greater risk of developing hypersensitivity. So in addition to testing for metal sensitivity, I would suggest that anyone who is a candidate for any orthopedic procedure follow the LRA by ELISA Act plan before, during, and after the procedure so that your immune defense and repair system can be on its best behavior in regard to defense, but also most able to repair the individual because by the way, an orthopedic procedure is a pretty big wound to the body. And so, yes, metal sensitivity testing before is recommended, but the LRA by ELISA Act plan is really recommended so that the person can be in the best condition to benefit from the repair and to be able to recover from the orthopedic procedure. 